What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be showing you how to beat the blitz using only hot routes in Madden 23. Now this is going to show you uh, something that we can do out of U-Trips. I'm going to go ahead and come out in Spinner and we're going to show you a great way to be able to, uh, like I said, just get stuff uh, just get stuff more open for you. So um, we're going to use, we can use any play that we want. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to come out and pat slot out, but you can do this out of anything in this formation, okay? So uh, if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you're a Patreon member. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, the link to do so is in the description. Patreon members get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive is, and defensive ebooks as well. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below, and you can click the link down below. So this setup is really simple. What we're going to do is we're just going to out route our tight end. We're going to fade our outside player, uh, Mike Evans. We're going to slant Chris Godwin. And then we're going to put Jones on an in route when we motion him to the left. And you can either wheel your running back or you can block your running back. So this is the main concept, and this is the easiest blitz beat of the game. Because if they, if they send the slot corners, you're going to hit that out route to Rudolph pretty much every single time. Essentially, what's going to happen is you're reading this corner. If the cornerback on the right side bails deep, then you're going to throw, more times than not, your tight end. So again, it looks something like this. So we look to the right, the corners bail one-on-one. -on -one. we got to trust that route to the tight end. And you want to put um, short in elite on him. That's going to make him a lot better for you, uh, just in terms of what he can do. So the only real way that they can counter this and be able to still send like significant pressure would be to do a defense kind of like out of a zone look. So if you get a zone look like a cover two underneath coverage, you'll see here, my my streak is wide open to the side. So I'm able to cook cover two that way. So the only way that I can really defend this tight end route, this quick out, is by going into some type of cover two or by dropping the slot corner into a hard flat, right? When I do that, what's gonna happen, which you'll notice here, is the blitz is going to be significantly less effective. And the other thing that's going to be less effective is if you want to block your running back, you're going to have a chance to have some protection. And then what will happen is this this coverage will pretty quickly break down over the middle. So if I go fade no, tight end no, and then I look back here and I've got my in route or my slant. And that in route does such a good job of pairing with the slant to be able to attack the opponent in the middle of the field. So there's so many adjustments that they have to do, and this is no longer really a blitz, right? They're only sitting four. So you're not only going to have really, really good pass protection, but you're also going to have quick reads. So again, you're going here, no, no, that's not open. Now I look back, boom, there's my in route. So the slant is going to pull those mill zones to him, and it's going to leave this little void for the in route to be able to come back open. This play is also good against drop eight. Um, if they drop coverage out of cover two or cover three, cover three, cover four is really what you're probably going to see. See so here, okay, that's good coverage. But if I wait on that, my slant is open late. So the beauty of this route combo is it can again, it it has an answer for literally everything your opponent can do. So, if you want to wheel the running back, you certainly can. You can also put him on a check and release to the sideline, but you'll see here this little tight end out is uh, still available. They're going to have to hard flat most of the time if, if they know, like if, if they're playing new trips and they know what they're doing, they're going to know that it's really hard for them to get away with playing purple zones. So, they might hard flat out of a cover three, and then now you can hit your quick reads. You can hit your in. Or if they use her the middle and go to the in route, 
then late in the play, and I'll show you, then late in this play, your slant uh, will be wide open. So again, here, the use of that route. So we wait on the slant. And you see that that cooks the coverage. So this is one of my favorite little quick plays. You can do this out of a lot of different formations. we are breaking this down some more in the future. But if you guys want to learn my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. We're going to be updating that ebook as well. Remember, Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of our updates. We also have some a couple new ebooks we're going to be dropping this week for you guys. So make sure you're in the Patreon. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, Head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.